Well, let me ask you about Trump on that front, uh, about the election, 2020 election, and maybe the better question is about January 6th. Do you think January 6th was a big deal? I do. How big of a deal? Compared to what? Uh, Civil War. <laughs> I think it was less of a big deal than the Civil War. Okay. No, I mean, so <laughs> you, well, that, it's a very interesting thing though, right? Because we have not only the the event, that's that's clever actually, it's not only the event, but it's what led up to it mm. and what has happened since and did it change what is considered on the table that citizens can, should, or might do if they disagree with the results of an election. So I think that there are further reaching consequences than just was the six hour period on January 6th a bigger or smaller deal than the Civil War. And there's so much wrapped up into it. Um, many conspiracy theories flowed from January 6th as well. Uh, 60 Minutes recently featured a guy named Ray Epps who was targeted by some on the right, um, claiming that he was an instigator or an agent of the FBI or something along those lines. Uh, there were people claiming that no real, it was like a no true Scotsman sort of thing. Like Trump supporters wouldn't riot. So by definition, it must have been Antifa. Uh, police let him in or police, were, you know, all these different things. I think it was a big deal in a lot of ways because it completely made us have to go back to the top to say, okay, what are the parameters of valid discussion and activism in the United States? But what aspect of the January 6th was bad for you? What well, I mean, like if you're thinking of from a big philosophical political perspective, so presumably the number of people hurt and the number of people who died is not the only metric to consider here. Absolutely. I think the sum total of what it means about how the United States operates is what's most concerning. And I'll kind of just like flesh it out a little bit. So summer of 2020. Trump's already saying they're going to cheat. Now, the polling is close, but it shows that Biden's in a good position. People aren't happy with Trump. Any reasonable person would look and say, it's going to be close, but Biden certainly wouldn't be a crazy thing if Biden won. Trump's already saying they're going to cheat with mail-in ballots, or they're going to cheat with early voting, or they're going to cheat with machines, or we should do only in person, or whatever else the case may be. We have the election. Uh, we knew in certain states how the vote count was going to go. Some states stop counting at 10 p.m. Some states count all of the mail-in stuff up front. Some don't. Everything was completely predictable. Uh, at 2 a.m., Trump comes out and says, I won. Okay, but, but where, are you, where are you getting that, sir? As he claims people always refer to him, where are you getting that? And with that statement, immediately we see that there is a large portion of this country that either is unable or unwilling to say, wait a second, the polling all said this was a real possibility. The counting schedules are all being adhered to. All, but Trump won? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't happen. It builds. People are donating millions to Trump for supposed audits, which nobody can define, and lawsuits, which go nowhere. And it builds and builds and builds. And we have a total separation from a factual reality. There's no reason to think by December 1st, right? Give three weeks to look through some of this stuff. By December 1st, there's no reasonable case to be made that Trump actually won. But it doesn't end there. It goes into maybe we can just like send different electors, even though Biden won Arizona. Let's just like send, I don't remember how many electors it is in Arizona. Let's just like send Republican electors to say we, we vote for Trump. But that's, that's not democracy. That's not the way the system works. Let's make sure we're ready. Ready for what exactly? And then it builds to maybe Mike Pence can just like prevent Biden from being president, or maybe we can just interfere in this other way. And then it gets to let's break into the Capitol. It's the height of saying we no longer comport ourselves attached to what is a verifiable factual reality. And when we no longer do that, we're also willing to commit crimes, property crimes, violent crimes, okay, to different degrees, in order to try to have something other than democracy. It wouldn't be democracy if any of those things had happened. Yeah, I, I, I think it's not the height of it. I think 
there is still a case to be made that that uh, did not leave the realm of protest versus um, a violation of the principles of democracy. So to me, the height of what could happen on January 6th ah. is uh, if Donald Trump was much better executive, uh, he could take control of the military. If it had succeeded. In no, not even succeeded. The attempt would have been more um, empowered. I understand. So like, the, the way not to bring up Hitler every other word, which is something your subreddit also told me not to do. Okay. He's kind of an important figure. It's <laughs> interesting to study that moment in history because it reveals so much about human nature and that all of us are capable of good and evil. But thank you, dear subredditor or redditor for your contribution to the conversation. <laughs> I will keep bringing up Hitler and the Third Reich and I'll keep bringing up Stalin. There's so much to learn from that. Anyway, the... And the uh, um, an effective practiced authoritarian could roll the tanks out into the city streets to uh, establish order and in so doing, pause the process of democracy, as opposed yeah. to a few protesters breaking in to a questionably uh, protected building. I agree that what you're saying would be worse. I don't wanna use it to minimize sure. what the protesters were intent on doing. They failed, fortunately. Oh, but I, if to you, the intention was there. To, well, to, the to intention was Trump should remain president. Yeah. That's the intention. And to what lengths they would have been willing to go if by the evening, early evening, they, they you know, were sort of like forced out, I don't know. I agree with you that Trump trying to use the military uh, would absolutely be worse. You know, there's these reports that he tried to seize voting machines, which is kind of funny because it's like, once you get the machine at Mar-a-Lago, what do you do with it exactly? I don't know. There's a, like a comedic element to Trump sitting around with voting machines, but he did float trying to do some other things. I don't believe there's reporting that he actually tried to use the military.